Hello brew tubers and welcome to my tasting video for my uh, best bitter as you can see there I say so uh, just the first pint off the cask I made a bit of a mistake when I did my Harlequin video that it was like the last pint so this is the first pint um, as you can see it's a lovely sort of you know sort of reddish amber good sort of bitter colour um, Yes, let's dive in. Mm. First impressions, probably could do with a touch more bitterness. Um, I mean, there is a, a bit of finish to it, but uh, just do a little bit more. Quite a sweet caramelly malt initial taste. Definitely green tea flavours in there. And a little bit of uh, oranginess as well. That's good condition. I'm going to stir it up a bit, you can see it's. Uh, like that. Yeah, I mean it's it's not bad. Um, yeah, just do a little bit more bitterness, I reckon. I say it's made with um, homegrown Fubbles hops, um, which is interesting to use. Um, yeah, well, I just don't know, is it? It's got a lot of sweet forefront, uh, more than I was expecting. So perhaps, um, perhaps just cut down on the um, mashing temperature, perhaps, just to make it uh, more fermentable, so slightly less sweet, um, and keep the bitterness the same. That might be a better um, way of doing it. All in all, though, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, it just tastes almost a bit watery at the front, sort of a sweet wateriness. Getting all the flavour towards the rear. Or am I just being a bit judgmental? got a lingering bitterness I suppose but yeah certainly sweet caramel malt and um, caramel maltiness um, green tea and orange bitter peel pith pithy orange pithiness mm. well it can't be in that bag can it oh dear anyway there you go, that's my uh, best bitter. It's uh, it's okay. Um, you have a couple of ideas just to improve it, I think. Um, perhaps just uh, reduce the, the mash sweetness a tiny little bit, perhaps by just one degree or so, and um, see how that comes out. Yeah, well, it's all right. Um, I can't remember if I put any sugar in this. If I did, I'll cut the sugar out and just use malt, perhaps. I don't think it did though, so yeah, all in all, um, scoring out of 10, I'd give it a, a 7. Um, it's good, could be a bit better though. Um, so yeah, plenty to think about for the um, second time I brew it. Obviously the best bitter is um, a beer I, I want to have in my, in my range, so um, yeah, the idea of using homegrown fuggle hops um, is quite appealing I think. Um, if I'm selling beer in Watford and it's made with hot Watford grown hops, people think, ooh, I might give that a go. So, yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll um, make a few little adjustments. And I've got a whole cask of beer to drink with various people over the next three days. So, um, yes, I shall enjoy. They shall enjoy, hopefully. And, um, yeah, 
go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely bank holiday weekend. And I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.